For a profession that is often praised for helping others, some first responders tell us that in reality they often feel forgotten. Last month we took you to Camp Hero in Jackson County showing the growing need for mental health resources for first responders who are battling post-traumatic stress disorder. But first responders diagnosed with PTSD also face obstacles to get some help. Tonight, WKYT investigative reporter Garrett Weimer introduces us to one Kentucky couple who has been fighting the system system for almost seven years and they say they aren't the only ones. Bobby Treadway never doubted his career choice. Just wanting to help people. Following in his father's footsteps as a first responder. Like a collie. Yeah. It's even how he met his wife, Christy. At the Bath County Ambulance Service. Met there and we was uh, partners on the uh, truck for a while. And But work wasn't easy. The people that you try to help and you you couldn't. Too many unhappy endings. Those are the bad times. Uh, Too many stories. I have a lot of those bad times. Too hard to forget. It takes a toll, I mean, in your family life and uh, there's a lot of times mentally when you come home, you still have it on your mind. A lot of times you can't enjoy the time you have at home uh, with your kids and stuff. Once. Uh, it gets to the point to where uh, this stuff starts to bother you. The emotions, even uh, now, are still strong. We can enjoy. The care and compassion okay. Treadway used to comfort others. You need a drink? Now a sign of what haunts him. I'm sorry. You're fine. You're fine. Treadway says he takes 18 medications and visits a therapist weekly, trying to deal with the post-traumatic stress disorder he's been diagnosed with. And we were both like, what? What do you mean PTSD? That's military. From the day he collapsed on a call in September 2015, Treadway dealt with worsening nightmares and dozens of seizures. But after that diagnosis, the workers' compensation helping the Treadways to pay bills stopped. You work for 19 years and you pay into a system that in turn, when you need the system, the system fails you. And that's what we've been faced with for the last seven years, is a system that has failed. The problem lies with state law and what some see as an outdated or inadequate definition that requires any psychological, psychiatric, or stress-related change to be a direct result of a physical injury, even for first responders. The mental injury that goes with PTSD by far outweighs any broken bone, any type of a physical type of injury to sustain. But even when trauma like PTSD is recognized, it can still be hard to prove. Applying for Social Security disability requires medical documentation of exposure to actual or threatened death, serious injury or violence, intrusive memories, dreams or flashbacks, avoidance of external reminders of the event, disturbance in mood and behavior, and increases in arousal and reactivity. Plus, either limitation of understanding, remembering, or applying information, interacting with others, concentrating, persisting, or maintaining pace, and or adapting or managing oneself, or evidence that the mental disorder is serious and persistent. I've been through the, you've got to be kidding me stage, to where I've been furious, to where I'm like, I'm over this, and then like, no, I'm not giving up. The government has fought the Treadway's disability claim for nearly six and a half years now. This is our last hope. A judge has agreed to review the Treadway's case after they filed suit in federal court. It's the final outlet for an appeal. What happens if they say no? We continue to pray and push forward like we've been doing for seven years. Like so much of his career, Bobby Treadway has seen other stories in sadly. I know first responders personally that have committed suicide. 
from PTSD. That's why this team has stuck together through the tough times. I don't know what I would have done without her. Um, I don't know if I would have still been here without her, to be honest with you. No longer serving on an ambulance, but still helping. Just now, each other. In Bath County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. House Bill 356 would change the definition of an injury for workers' compensation claims.